Hi, this is Marilee and this is week five of my six week blogging challenge. So this week I want to talk about the platform that I'm using for my website called WordPress. When I first became, uh, when my first blog came to be, I was just on Tumblr. And then when my blog went viral, I realized I had to hurry and build my own site so that everyone can be directed there, not just my Tumblr account. So uh, I am a designer, but I don't know how to build websites. And so what I actually did, I was under a time crunch. And so I didn't have time to look at all my options. So I went and found a web designer and he brought my thoughts to life. I gave him a template of what I wanted it to look like. And he just went to WordPress and he showed me some things and I picked one and that's how my site came to be. And so now um, I, there are a lot of things that, there are a lot of places you can go to put your site up online. The only uh, trick is that if you wanted to grow your website or if you wanted to move it somewhere else, you'd have to start all over again. And I know WordPress is tricky. I, I still find, I'm still learning about it, but the more, the more I learn about, it, the more comfortable I get. But what I wanted to say about WordPress is that it's fully customizable and um, you can you can grow your website from there. You you can, if you needed to rearrange something, you can do that. Uh, if you wanted a new theme, maybe you, as you're growing your site, you find that you want it to look completely different, but you want to keep your content in there, you just choose a different theme and you're ready to go. Whereas other sites, you can't move certain pieces. I mean, once when you have it, that's how it's supposed to be. So with WordPress, uh, it, it is a little bit um, of a learning curve, but I would definitely recommend that more than anything else. I. Um, I find that there are things on my blog that I, I would like to update. So um, I, I'm scheduling out past my challenge um, that I'm going to uh, give it an update and have it look just a little bit different just, um, just because I, I feel like I've had the same thing for several years and it's time for a change. And so I definitely want to um, explore new things and see what else is out there. So I already gave you my tip for this week was building your website through WordPress. So let's go ahead and talk about what I was focusing on for this week. So last week I was having a hard time focusing just because of uh, the different things that were going on that I, this week I refocused and it's been a lot better. It hasn't been perfect, but um, I'm, I'm still working on this challenge. That's why it's called a challenge. And I'm, I'm back on track and I have more submissions that are flowing in. So that's great. So I'm, I'm looking forward to working on that some more. But quickly, I just wanted to say that I've been reading some of the submissions and they're great. Um, I find that everyone has different stories to share and I'm really enjoying what I'm reading. So I, I want to thank those that have submitted already. It's been great. And I wanted to talk about the nonprofit for this week. It is called randomacts.org. So you've heard of Random Acts of Kindness, and this is where this organization plays into that. And so it's really important for uh, maybe if you're not being bullied, maybe you know somebody that that is, or, or there are a lot of people that are going through a hard time that you just don't know about. And so this organization is more about uh, spreading kindness through small acts of kindness, such as buying a stranger a cup of coffee. And I've actually been on the receiving end of that one day. I was, I was uh, in line for Starbucks and I was having the worst, worst morning. And I pulled up to the window and someone gave, someone gave me my coffee and said it was paid for. And so I just, I never forgot that. And it's something so small, just like that, you're doing um, just a quick small thing for somebody and you don't know the impact that it can have on their day or on their life. This happened several years ago and I still remember that. So this nonprofit uh, celebrates that. And uh, um, there's a lot of things that they talk about with uh, 
um, small acts of kindness to bigger acts, such as uh, building a school in another country. And so I definitely recommend to check them out, check the link below and see what they're about. Okay, so that's it for this week. Next week is my last week of my blogging challenge where I wrap up everything and tell you things that I've learned. So tune in next time and don't forget to submit your story and pictures. I would really love to see them on my site and so I can share them out. Thanks and I'll see you next week.